Hey, what's up, fam? This actually was a very good plot twist uh, moment for Fairy Tale Happy Adventure. And the reason why that is, is it made sense, and I could kind of understand the, the the mindset of of the villain. But at the same time, it, it opened up a really cool bit. So, obviously, at the end, Happy it was able to quell Chi's, uh, like, raging emotions. And she kind of just is like... He admitted defeat. He, he, could, he realized that Happy and him were actually friends. Because we know the reason he was mad at him, the reason he had such a problem with him is he thought he was lying to him. She had some very big trust issues, and it looks like Happy's able to, you know, help fix that. Maybe at the moment, uh, I don't I don't think it'll be on the long run, but definitely made him much more of a nice character. And it's weird when you think about it, especially, though, when you think about characters like Happy or Chi, and, like, how easy... How much of a switch I'd really, like, how quick of a switch it was when you think about it. But then at the same time, it's, uh, neither of them are very old. I think Happy and Chi are both, like, what, like, eight? Assuming Chi is as old as Happy. Happy's, like, what, eight or nine? And, I mean, you know, I, I think it was a real nice touching moment for them to, to really kind of hash it out without really fighting. But he, he got the Etherman back, he gave it back to Luna, who had has some weird... Has some weird teasing moments with Chi. Uh, I, I would rather him have his nice little kitty bromance than the weird loot fox hanging around. But there's actually, a, what I did like, there was a reference to Cobra. And I thought it was interesting that it was a reference to Cobra, but kept to the scene of when Natsu and Happy fought Cobra and had Cubelios before uh, uh, she turned back into a human. Uh, but it, well, it kind of like further transpires because... Happy was knocked out from, you know, being poisoned, being treated, and I, I, I just remembered in the, uh, in, in it, if you look at the, the poster on the wall next to Happy's bed, like, in this medical room, there's, like, a, a, a now a third version of Ichia, so now there's Ichia, Nichia, and this, I don't even know what this character would be that's in, the, uh, in this room. Maybe Ichia cross time and space and dimensions, it always exist, but... Luna is like it, because she won in a round. She's like standing in for Happy, uh, well, like, you know, accepting uh, their team's victory. But because Happy is out and uh, and Chi and Moon lost, Rhino, who talks about how because he didn't lose, he still he won and Luna won uh, that round. So really, it just comes down to him versus her at this point. He just comes up, knocks her out, takes the Ether Moon. And tries to get it to give him all of its power, but it's shown that the Ether Moon doesn't um, doesn't want to work. It doesn't work for people that aren't like pure of heart. But once Elif and uh, Tigre show up to go and uh, contend with him, he's it's like, "You're gonna give me the power, Ether Moon, or you know, it doesn't matter what you have to say about the Ether Moon." It's like, "Nope, not doing it." So, uh, Reiner just decided he's going to destroy it if he doesn't get it, and while putting strain on it, the dark, like the ecliptic, like that dark side of the moon look part to it, kind of like took over, and it gave him uh, the power, but it's more, it seems more of this like detrimental, like agonizing power, and he has this badass looking giant, like demonic rhino form, and I don't know, it's, this just makes me interested by itself, it's so cool looking, but I, I will really... I'm interested to see how they win and, and what exactly is going to uh, follow up from this. Uh, are we going to see the return of the Happy Max speed attack we haven't seen in a long time? Uh, it's just him loop around and just become just a little cap like missile. Hopefully, I want that to happen. I actually really look forward to the the Happy spinoffs every week. Uh, it's it, they've been really picking up. If you haven't yet, just check them out. I think they're fun. Like I said, the only thing that I, I, I really don't like in it is the, the furry stuff, but, you know, I mean, it, it's it's not enough that it ruins the story for me. It just kind of makes me go, all right, get out of here, Luna. I don't want you to be around here. Other than that, though, uh, fun. Definitely a, a, a nice build-up for the, the actual villain of this uh, little arc. And, like I said, drop, drop a comment below on what you think about it, because I like that. I think it's fun. And, I, like I said, it's... It's just a big intimidating bad guy, and I'm wondering how they're going to defeat him because nobody really is. There aren't a lot of like really powerful characters in this, so they're going to have to figure out a way to outsmart him and get the Ether Moon off, or potentially the return of the Happy Max Speed Attack. Other than that, though, uh, thumbs up the video and you know like it if 
you enjoyed this, put on the like button and subscribe for more. And check out the rest of my videos. No matter content, but other than that, I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. And I thank you all for listening. Bye.